Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you can force people to stand in queue lines until they die or go completely insane. It's The Sims 4. Immediately, I need to change something. If people are going to be standing in line all day, it is not going to be overcast for them. Let's get the sun out. Gray's favorite mini game. How many times does he have to make Florida Man use the weather control device before he gets it right? Mamma mia! Jesus Christ, you're from Florida. There's only one setting on this thing. Sunny and hot. Put it on it. You've done it, Florida Man. You deserve a medal, but I don't have one. Okay. So today, along with probably 94 other poor bastards, the Mann family is going to take all of my displaced aggression that I have from years of standing in lines, and they're going to have to deal with what I've dealt with in a lifetime in one day. Actually, it'll probably be multiple days for them. I've decided I want to do something for this community since I spend all my time killing everyone inside of it. I'm going to build them a community pool, and then I'm going to make them walk seven miles to get to it. Okay, first things first, we need a pool that is worthy of such a community. There you go. I'm gonna give these guys some pool trim too. I don't know which one looks the slipperiest. Let's try the marble. You can have hazard tape for your fencing. Looking at all the different potential fences here for the queue. The velvet rope, only the finest for the test subjects. I'm literally like two seconds into building and tonsils is already like, what the hell have you done? My sims are over here like, does Gray have a degree in engineering? Florida man's like, no, I'm pretty sure he failed basic algebra. All right, this is probably going to be one of those saves that ends up breaking on me, so I need a test subject. Johnny, go over here real quick. I just want to see how you do it. Johnny, stop socializing to improve your mood and get the hell on the other side of the fencing. Perfect. You may be wondering, how exactly am I keeping the sims out with just caution tape? It's basically like an electric dog fence. Every sim that's born in my city has a chip implanted within them. They can't cross this line. Okay, we have our pool. We have the beginning of the queue. Now I have to go through the painful process of building this thing, and I want to put something in the middle so that they have something to do, because I'm not sure I want them to die halfway there. I'd like for them to die just before they reach the goal. Hold on, let me give you guys a ladder for safety. You may have this interior pool light as well. Actually, you know what? Have two of them. What the hell, three? Can I get one on the other side of the ladder? Yep, sure can. Four divs. What is this? It looks like Fred Flintstone's ladder. I want this one instead. Don't worry, guys. It's still safe. I guarantee it. <laughs> you may get tetanus on the way down, though. There we go. Now the person in the pool can actually have some shade. Actually, never mind. The way the sun's positioned, only these people over here get shade. The person in the pool just gets to cook. Oh, exciting. I'm going to see if I can find ways to make this queue take even longer than normal. Maybe I'll put a bed like right in the middle so that every once in a while a sim just goes to sleep and forces everyone to continue to stand waiting. Tommy is my test subject for just about everything. Good. Like an appropriate piece of cattle. You follow the fences directly. Okay, we're almost at the halfway point and it looks almost like a genetic code. So right about here, I want something unusual. Just something for them to observe since they're going to be spending most of their life in this queue. Actually, if they make it this far, they'll be able to use the bathroom. Hold on, just putting down a nice tropical rug here. Off the grid toilet tree. Uh, yeah, it's good enough for them. All right, we've got the beginning of the restroom over here. Uh, it is an outdoor restroom. This wall here is just so I can put intimidating posters on it. Actually, hold on. We can use this as a designator. Uh, this will be the girl side, and this will also be the girl side. What happens if you put a thermostat outside? If I can make it uncomfortably hot somehow in this zone, I'm gonna do it. Uh, the boys, you can just have these arcade games. Honestly, it's every bit as good as a bathroom. The rug's gonna collect all the excess urine anyway, so it really doesn't matter. I decided it's gonna be the world's first outdoor bathroom and sports bar. I can't put a TV there because I want to remember that the thermostat's there. If there's one thing every outdoor sports bar and bathroom needs, it's a full look of bar. Oh yeah, it was a little bit of a janked up mess to get this beauty in the middle, but I think it's gonna work. It's always a good sign when moving the fencing around when the FPS is already at six. I wanted to leave two little segments open here. I think I'm going to put a band there, maybe like a recording studio so that we can capture all the trauma in 1080p. If there's one thing that medieval times has taught us, it's that people love to observe the agony of others. When you drop down to 2 FPS and the shadows start artifacting in the game, that's when you know that you need more goddamn fences. All right, and if they make it this far, congratulations, you did it. You made it to the pool. Oh yeah. This is working out just great. <laughs> Always make sure to save often. 
Maximum sim count. Yes. When all the other plots of land look like this, and then there's one that looks like this when you log in, that's when you know. All right, I got bad news, Sims. All the budget went into the bathroom. Uh, we can't afford shadows anymore. Actually, I had to take the shadows out because there's so many cube pieces that it was giving me a seizure. Every once in a while, if you look closely, you can see the seizure medicine right here. All right, Tommy, before I throw like 100 people here, go ahead and give me a test run. Let's say you want to use the bathroom. What do you do? All right, Tommy is off in his glorious stretch pants. Now, as you would imagine, he is, of course, walking as slow as humanly possible. Hey, Tommy, how you feeling? Sad. How come none of the neighbors want to come inside of the house? What the hell is this lady looking at? She's like, wow, what a wonderful gnome you have. She's saying welcome to the neighborhood. She's not welcoming any of the Sims. She's welcoming that monstrosity. By the way, it's been three hours now. Um, Tommy is still walking just to get to the, uh, the bathroom area. <laughs> okay, we're on hour six. LSD is asking the cat, she's like, hey, do you know what the weather's gonna be like today? And tonsils is like painful. I like how one of Spleens' eyes is 50% larger than the other. She's like, I can see that gnome eyeing me on the other side of the yard. Tommy, that side's for girls. Tommy's like, I know you can see how much I care right now. I wanted to make a dancing area. It worked. I don't even know if this is technically possible, but it's letting me do it. And I figure, what the hell, if we can have some dancers while everyone's in line, that'll bring the morale up. You know, just before they starve to death. I even got space for that, that bet I wanted. Throw down a couple of cameras to capture the action. What the hell, I'm gonna throw a couple of cameras in here too. I can't scroll out too far because if I do, Satan appears. Australian man, you gotta use the bathroom. There's toilets right over there. Past the seizure inducing graphical errors. Okay, man family, since you've technically been tortured the most during the entire Sims 4 playlist, uh, you get to come in first and then I'll file in the other 100 people. Oh, now you all decide you wanna start using the bathrooms, huh? Oh yeah, 10 o'clock at night. Even the cats have to go through the queue. <laughs> How dare you? Australian man, I would appreciate it if you didn't hug so closely next to the queue. You're getting bodily fluids all over the velvet. Well, I need to make sure that my dance party works. Oh, sweet Jesus, it does. I felt bad, so I wanted to put some lighting in. I can actually get little tiny lights behind the toilets. Oh, this turned out perfectly. It's just the amount of backlighting necessary for good video. I didn't mean for this center area to turn out looking like a reality TV show, but, uh, well, there you go. I needed to put some extra beds in the area, but I couldn't fit any. So this is just for resting like your right leg. And there's your left leg. Oh God, at nighttime, this is just a glorious work of art. Uh, <laughs> Tommy, sleeping. <laughs> if I put these tiny beds in the middle of the queue, will they be able to sleep there? Tommy's like, they call me the Professor X of the sleeping world. I don't touch the bed when I slumber. All right, Bab, before you die of mortification, I need you to test this out for me. Oh. It totally works. I like how the bed still has the animation like she's actually underneath the covers. From this perspective, it's not like the bed is very tall. It's like Babs is very big. I'm not gonna lie, her stench cloud uh, with the backlighting of the spotlights kind of looks like the Aurora Borealis. I have immediately decided we need more of these beds. Just putting them wherever I can fit them. I'm actually gonna call this area over here Hobo Row. Uh, because it's where all the homeless people will sleep during the night. The community pool is actually open 24 hours a day, usually because it takes you longer than 24 hours to actually get through the queue to get to the pool. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about the cats. I don't have enough space for you guys, so you guys get the tiny litter box option. How small do these go? Now you can use the restroom alongside of your human slaves. The queue of eternal suffering. Well, can't fit that much. You know what? Just cues dancing and suffer. That works. All right, let's just try and make it through the night without any of you guys dying. Oh, you need food, do you? There, nothing like drinking some barbecue sauce with your martini. I love that people are using my pants. <laughs> Please don't go to sleep now. You're gonna miss the, oh my God. What is this face? She's like, I can see a Florida man's towel. All right, congratulations, everyone. You made it till morning. Time to let the chaos begin. Oh, it's perfect. As I spawn people, they want to go watch television so they can do this without me forcing them. Okay, we've got our congealed mass of 100 people to go through the queue. Why'd you bring your headphones? You don't need entertainment. We've got plenty. Don't mind the sleeping bodies uh, as you guys progress through the queue. This is totally normal in this neighborhood. There we go. 
Here comes the crowd wanting to use the pool. Oh, Jesus Christ. I never thought what would happen if they're going to get stuck on one another. Ah, oh, the glitching. All right, that's it. Don't, don't push or shove or anything like that. There's plenty of pool for everyone. Every once in a while, people get, like, stuck inside of the queue ropes. Where the hell are you guys going? There's no way to get in that way. <laughs> you guys are probably going to want to run, um, because just in the testing phase, it does take a normal human about 12 hours just to get to the mid area. The fact that most of you are getting caught on one another means that it'll probably take you twice as long. Oh, it's every bit of buggy glitch fest as I hoped it would be. The sad part is sometimes every once in a while, one of these poor bastards gets shucked by another sim and they end up in the queue line over this way. So they have to retraverse all their steps just to get back to where they were. All right, there's no reason for anyone to be staying awake for 24 hours straight. There's literally beds everywhere. I like how um, Bab Ross has completely given up on anything in the game. She was just staring at the crowd like, man, <laughs> look at how many body bags death is going to have to bring with him. I'm not going to lie. If 100 people do this well, I may have to go with 200 people. Leave it to Florida, man, to end up sleeping in front of LSD with his face resting against the cool, smooth surface of the dance floor. He's like, it's so peaceful here. Plus, if you look closely, you can see straight through the earth. Man, this is great. I really appreciate that my little center of pain over here is getting so much use. It is kind of unfortunate that everyone else is just dying of heat exhaustion without actually getting anywhere in the queue. I'd like to see at least one person get to the pool. Guys, I wanted you to get through this queue in like a week. The way you're moving, it's gonna take two. Okay, good news. Both LSD and Beth Amphetamine are heading toward the pool. It's taken them two and a half days, but they're, they're starting to get there. I have to mention a few things. First off, there's some people that are already in their bathing suits. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. They still have like four days to go. Uh, but also, there happens to be a woman swimming inside of my foundation. Who is this brilliant woman? How have you managed to get around my torture? She's like, well, the first thing that they teach you in sim school is how to think outside the box. She's gonna swim the whole queue. <laughs> this lady's doing it. She's over halfway there to the pool. I'll make you a deal. If you get to the pool, I will add 100 more Sims. I am, this lady is happy during all this. Like everyone is either embarrassed, pissed off, or just depressed. But somehow she's like, man, if there's one thing I love doing, it's walking outside in the open air while it's 110 degrees outside in order to get to a two foot pool. The Sims are actually working extra hard now. I had to make the pool one square larger because no one wanted to go to it when it was just one square. My one rebel is legit still swimming in my foundation. She's gonna die down there. She's gonna run out of stamina eventually. She's like, you don't control me. I decide when I perish. I just thought about it as well. By the time this one lady who's so close to the pool finally gets there, she's going to be out of stamina. She's probably going to end up dying. After all this time, we have someone that made it all the way until the end. It just took them three days. Jenna Hitchcock, you are a true hero. Oh, hold on. Someone's dying. Sorry to get in the way of my boasting of your outdoor skill. This guy never even made it into the queue. Anyway, Jenna, what I was trying to say is you... She made it all the way to the end and then she drowned. What the hell? Well, whoever gets here next is going to have a surprise. Jenna's like, it's so peaceful down here. All right, since she did it, we're adding 100 more Sims. This guy's like, I'm actually emotionless. I just don't want to enter the queue. Is that wrong of me? Somewhere in the middle of all this, at the beginning of the queue, someone just died again. So now everyone has to be sad about her for a while. Look at the air sparkling, the lights glistening. And the gigantic crowd of people in non-stop torment as more and more people die at the beginning of the queue. They're going to spend their entire lives from beginning to end in this queue. And the one lady that finally managed to get there and swim immediately drowned. And everything just officially froze. I'm in the fast forward and nothing's moving anymore. Time has just stood still. Everyone, I think, almost died at exactly the same time. And it completely destroyed the entire game. Oh, I can't even pan anymore. Well, everyone spent their entire life in this queue from beginning to end. Some people disintegrated in the pool. One lady somehow swam through the concrete. I never saw her again. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.